Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another um, craft me with me tutorial, whatever you want to call it. I am preparing for my winter journal and um, I don't really know what I'm going to call it, but I did want to share a little bit of something before I get started. So as I was, um, those of you who follow me on Facebook and stuff know that my friend that I've been talking about did pass away yesterday evening uh, on Christmas, the day after Christmas. And so uh, she was my counselor for 17 years. So she was the person who walked with me through some of the darkest times of my healing journey. And so it's hit me hard. <laughs> um, I'm finding it really hard to just do anything, be motivated. Um, I feel, I feel at peace, but at the same time, I feel like this big hole. And so I was praying about it and I was just kind of, I've been laying low, taking things slow, just kind of meandering around my home and my life. We're snowed in right now. We've got about, we've got about four inches here at my house. So I'm, I'm kind of stuck at home, but the word that came to me in all of this was serene. And then I just really felt like that's supposed to be my word for 2022. So what I did, um, as soon as that happened, I knew that I needed to make myself a, my own art journal. So I follow Sean Petit. Um, she's a mixed media artist. I was on her design team for a while um, back in 2019, kind of right uh, after the pandemic started, or right before the pandemic started. So uh, yeah. And um, so she makes her own art, annual art journal. And so uh, I was able to go onto her website and find, um, she had, um, directed me to a free class on how to do that. Now, I, I thought it was going to be a little bit more complex. It's basically just book binding, just like we do in it for a junk journal. So what I did is I went ahead and made one this morning so that it's all ready. And this is going to be my journal for the year um, around that word around serene. And so what I did is I used, this is an old, um, uh, in the olden days when they did, they had their photographs taken, they came in these, this interesting folders. And so I have a bunch of them from my, my, my parents-in-law. And so I was digging through my, my bin and I thought this would be perfect. And so, um, using a piece of history too. So I went ahead and made this and it's got three signatures and it's got watercolor paper in it. So this is what I'm going to be creating in as I do some more um, deliberate art journaling. So I uh, hope to bring you guys along for the ride on that. But I wanted to share with you kind of where I'm at and that, that, that serene, that word serene, not serenity, because to me, serenity is one of those words that has been, can be overused and then not really grasped, grasped <laughs> entirely. Um, serene was the word that I got and, and I feel like my life has moved that way naturally, but when we are set against loss and grief and change and all of those things, we have to make a more concerted effort to enter into a place of being serene, being content, not fall, you know, falling into a place of worry and dread and depression and things like that. And I know that is all just so easy to say and so much harder to do, but it's something that I'm, I'm working on and I'm going to continue to work on. So anyway, wanted to get that out of the way. Um, we lost power earlier, so I'm trying to get a video in before this is, I'm filming this on Monday, the 27th. And uh, we lost power twice already today. So I'm trying to get some videos in just so that um, I've got them kind of in the, you know, uh, prepared in case we do lose power because it's very cold. It's about 26 degrees out here right now, which is cold for us here in the Pacific Northwest. So what we're going to do, we're going to play a little bit more with the wax seals. You probably will have already seen that video, but I wanted to do some envelopes and use the wax seals as a seal. So that's what we're gonna do. So um, so what I did is um, I went ahead and purchased the guard, a winter garden, I think, 
I apologize, I'll link it. I'm, I'm a little bit out of sorts, so I apologize. I did not have all my ducks in a row. But this is from My Porch Prints. And um, I actually had a different kit picked out for my second winter, winter journal, but it has some Christmas stuff in it, and I just really don't want that in this journal. So we're going to go ahead and go with this one. So I went ahead and purchased this. So we're going to make a couple of envelopes, and I'm not the expert on this, so let me just take a peek and see how big I want my envelope to be when it's done. So card size, I'm going to say probably... Um, three and a half by six is what I'm thinking I want. So, um, so, and I had to actually watch a tutorial when I purchased this. Um, I had to buy it. I had to watch a tutorial to figure out how to use this stinking thing. I'm kind of not that bright. So we're going to do this one, which is, uh, sorry, three and a half by six is the paper size. And then or eight by eight is the paper size, excuse me. And the envelope size will be three and a half by six which I think is pretty, um, pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and look at, um, oh, I can hardly see that. Three and an eighth is our mark, is our score mark, our measure mark. So let me get this in here. Three and an eighth. I'm hoping that that's what that is. I'm having a really hard time seeing that number. Hang on, I'm going to put this in the light really quick. Yeah, three and an eighth. So... Um, I didn't sleep last night either, so I'm, I'm running on fumes. Um, I got the news about uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock last night, so it, it wasn't a surprise, but it definitely kept me up. <laughs> There's just a lot to process, you know, about it. So what you do is once you have your, um, your mark, your score mark, you go ahead and punch and then you score. So I forgot to pull my little thing out here. Hang on. Try not to move this. <laughs> and then basically you're going to score it. Oh, got to find the score line here. It's kind of tricky when the paper's pretty big. So I'm just going to score all the way to the edge, like so. And then you turn it 90 degrees. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't cut my paper first. Oh, my word. Ah, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Oh, that was so dumb. Um, I'm going to have to use the other the other one. And yeah, sorry about that, guys. Just, I don't know if doing a tutorial or doing a video is, is the best thing right now, but I can't sit here either. So, uh, cannot sit here. So, we're going to go ahead and, you have to cut your paper size first before you start doing that that bit so we're going to make sure that this is eight by eight and I would use that other one but I don't think I can let me you know what I might be able to because this is the one that I really wanted oh, except we've already got a score line so scrap that <laughs> we'll just do one today it'll be fine my apologies guys okay so again we're going to go three and an eighth we got some paper stuck in there. Three and an eighth. We're going to go ahead and punch again. I was wondering why that was going clear off. Goodness gracious. It does often go off the board, but, but not that much. So, and Again, I'm not the expert, so don't laugh at me. I am doing this on 20-pound paper. So I feel like it will fold better than, than what I've experienced before. So, okay, so that was that. Not thinking correctly. And then you line it up with the scoreboard, with the score line here. So we'll just do the one today. That's okay. Once you see it done, it's you got you know what you know. So, and you guys have probably done this more than I have anyway. Um, I was quite intimidated by this for the longest time. So let's go ahead and just fold this. Like so. This is gonna be a great size envelope though. I'm glad I chose that size. 
I don't, the only thing I don't like about this punch board is I don't like how, um, how tall this flap is. So I'm going to go ahead and try to trim that off, um, moderately straight here. See if I can do that. Um, hopefully I can just line it up here and have it be somewhat straight. I don't like that really tall flap. It looks silly to me. So let's go ahead and ink this really quick as well before we move on. We're 11 minutes in and is all I've done is yakety yak. <laughs> oh my. So there we go. So now we've got this and we've got this as our bottom flap. And so what I wanted to do is I'm not going to do the seal on this right now because I want to be able to put something in it. So, but I am going to go ahead and glue the edges. I didn't even get any of my supplies out here. Oh, goodness. Lord, help me. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and glue this closed here. Which way does it go? This way? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and just glue this edge. And I have another project for you too, in case you're wondering, this is not the only thing, but I do have it very well prepped. So hopefully it will be seamless. I actually watched it on um, Julie over at Camellia Crafts and I thought it would be a really kind of a, a simpler thing for me to try to attempt to do today. So there we go. So again, we're not gonna put the wax seal on because I want to be able to, um, I wanna be able to put something in this in this envelope so um, but I'm thinking where is that seal gonna go I guess it could will just go right on here so let's get our stuff out here Whew. goodness gracious Renee okay I've got my candle already going that that I was ahead of the game so let me pull it over here put this on top and then let me move this a little bit closer and then let's see what colors we want here I just I already did kind of a a looky see here on what this is all about. I want something more pink or more red. So I think I'm going to go with this color because I feel like, or maybe the green. The green would be gorgeous. Let's do the green. Let's do this green. So I'm going to do four little things. My husband, if you watch the other video, my husband, uh, my little spoon broke, like first time using it, but my husband took an old this is an old drawer pull from our dresser that we've had for like, I don't know, as long as we've been married, probably not quite as long as we've been married, about 30, 36 years we've had the, 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 um, the bedroom set. And so this is just an old handle and he came to the rescue and fixed my little spoon here. So I did go online and order another one just so that I have a backup. But So let's go ahead and let that melt. Oh, except how's it gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have to hold it because it doesn't have it's too heavy now on this end which is okay and so because we've got these beautiful roses on here we're gonna use one of the roses let's just see which one we want to do where's the other one that's kind of a flourish or floral or a fern kind of thing so let's just use the one that's on here um, this one here Okay, we ha actually had some old color in there apparently, so it is going to be um, a little strange. And that doesn't really look all that green, so that's kind of a bummer. But that's okay, I'm still learning and playing, and there's no right or wrong. So I'm just going to put this over here. This is my little parchment paper. And then I'm going to put that over there, and... Yeah, it's not looking green at all. <laughs> we may do more than one. I'm not sure. But what I'd like to do is I want to do one of these every time I do a journal. Because, you know, I give them away and hopefully one day I'll sell them. Um, and it's not that I had somebody comment about how they hope that I'll find the value in my work for selling it. It's not about that. It's not about me not thinking that my work has value. It's about 
the stress factor in involved in selling. I've done it before and it's just really overwhelming and stressful. So there we go. So I want to put, what I want to do is put a personalized letter in there. So that's why I'm not going to do anything here. So let's go ahead and that feels like it's going to bend there. So let's go ahead and pour this on and we're going to do that again in a circular motion. Well, I guess it is green. It's just got a little bit of that kind of slate blue that I used the last time I was doing this. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to have to just set that on here. And that actually caught on fire. I'm really not feeling very happy about this product. Um, I don't want to hold it up because I'll burn myself, but I'll show you in a sec. Actually, let me show you. So this is all burned. While I was holding it over there, it actually caught on fire. So that's deeply concerning to me. So hopefully the, the other stuff I get is going to be better. And I just let that run. Oh my goodness gracious, Renee. So out of it. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind. Just being real. I don't mind that it's a little bit bigger than I would have intended because that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Let me just set this aside here really quick. I'm really bummed about this product though. Like the waxes and everything are phenomenal. I'm going to blow that out. And I just spilled wax on my table. <laughs> I'm just fit to be tied today. Let me grab a wipe. Okay, that's all right. I'll deal with that later. So um, even though that is way bigger than I would have wanted, that is exactly what I want. That's beautiful. So yay, awesome. And that's gonna go, oh, it's a little bit soft still, so. Don't touch it, Renee. Now I've got my thumbprint in it. So whoever gets the journal will have my fingerprints on it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so let's set this aside. We can come back to it if I want to show you again. So the second project that we have today is this little booklet. So again, I watched Julie over at Camellia Crafts this morning because I was looking. I'm looking. I'm always, always, always looking for ideas, new ideas for what to do for new journals and things like that. So what she did is she did this little this little booklet and she she used a six by six piece of paper. She used two six by sixes, cut them, you know, I'm obviously they were six by six. She cut one in half to make the pockets and then the pockets wrapped around here, I believe. I'm not doing that. So mine measures eight by seven. So that's the, the booklet part of it, measures eight by seven. And then I took various papers uh, from my stash. I actually bought these from Amazon. They're, they're like a, supposed to look coffee dyed and aged, um, and they're the same on both sides. And I thought it was a nice thing to have on, on hand just for, for quick, uh, a quick choice. So, and then I've got a piece of that, piece of my coffee dyed paper, a piece of that, 3M masking paper and then the uh, and then another piece of that paper. So all in all there's six things in here. One, two, three, four. No, there's four. So there's eight pages and it's really thin. Like if you look at that, it's it's super thin. So we're gonna need to staple it in, but we'll we'll deal with that in a second. So basically what I did is I took the eight the eight by seven card, I folded it in half, I scored it really well. I did the same with these. They are obviously slightly smaller. If you can see that, they are slightly smaller. And then I cut some pockets and some cards, which we'll get to here in a second. But I need to find my long arm stapler here. It's right under my desk. So let's do that really quick.
again, I'm not concerned about perfection here, guys. If you are, um, my channel's probably not for you. So it's slightly off, I can tell already, but I think it's going to be fine. So let's go ahead and take all these clips off and free it. Yeah, it's pretty straight. It's right on the seam. I don't know why it looked weird from the outside. We did fine. Let me ink this really quick, guys. And I'm going to ink all the pieces that we're going to use, and then I'll, I'll cut that out and be right back with you. Okay, so that's all I'm going to ink right now, just because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be using. Um, because I was originally thinking I did not want to cover all this up, so I was thinking about just doing the pockets on the inside, because I really don't want to cover up the, that bird. Even though it's only part of the bird, I still like it. So I think I'm just going to put these on the inside. Oh, maybe we'll do double pockets. I didn't think about just doing a double pocket on the inside because I had cut this one to use too. I think we'll just do a double pocket. Perfect. Yeah, we'll do that on the inside. So um, I'm just wanting to make sure that I think these need to be cut. I did trim them down because I didn't want them to be too wide and get in the way of the um, of the fold here. So let me just trim that just a little bit more. I can set things a little bit off, but I think it's gonna be okay. And then we'll do the same with this set. Um, even though the birds are sideways, I, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna waste the paper, so I just went ahead and, I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. So I'm just gonna use this as a guide here. So backwards, oh, I must've already, Oh, nope, there we go. <laughs> I feel so scattered. Oh my gosh. I just simply cannot sit here all day though and, and not do anything. I just can't. So let me go ahead and ink these two since I cut them off. And I did print this kit on 20 pound and on the 60 pound and I also shrunk it down to two um, regular size and then I cut it at 50%. So two, two things per page, which shrinks it down in half. So I apologize for that light. I do have the window shade open because I need the light today. So I'm gonna be okay with that. So we're gonna go ahead and glue on three sides. Okay, we're coming to the end of this part. This bird looks really funny because it's completely sideways. The other one, it's a little bit nondescript. You can't quite tell it's a bird, but <laughs> this one is definitely a bird going the wrong way. But again, I don't want to waste, so we're going to just use it. So there we go. So we've got two pockets, and then I, I cut. I wasn't intending to use, do a double pocket, so now we've got these cards that can slide in here. When that's nice and dry right now it's um it, they might be too big too so oh nope probably gonna be okay but we're gonna wait on those so i didn't decorate them or anything i might go back and put a pull on them at some point but for now we're gonna go ahead and just focus on the front here i want to do a little bit of decorating so i did find this kind of rose colored lace in my stash so i want to use it kind of a, what do you call this, um, mauve, I think is the color. So, um, and but I'm gonna do two layers here. So we're gonna put some trim on the edge of this just to make it pretty because it's only sitting in the journal, it's only going to be, um, it's just under four in, well, it's about four inches. So I guess that, that's half of eight, right? So, um, <laughs> oh goodness. Oh goodness, I'm just grabbing a piece of parchment here so that I can protect my page here. I'm just going to stick that in there. And then we're going to go ahead and glue these trims on really quick.
wasn't too bad. We're going to do a little bit of embellishing on the front of this and then we'll be done for today. And I think I'm going to go take a nap. Not feeling, not feeling very functional right now at all. Even though I'm laughing, I'm trying to, trying to be okay, you know, trying to rejoice and all that stuff, but it's hard. Okay, so the other thing that I have here is a bit, some bits of stuff that I cut out. I, I have some circles that I cut out of the kit. Um, and then some other shapes here and then some words. So what do I want to be on this one? I think um, beauty in everything is what I want on the front of this. It needs to be trimmed just a bit. There we go. Oh, goodness. I'm not going to be picky about it. Okay, so do we want to use another bird or do we want to use some of the pink fabric? We could do both. We could go like that and make a little cluster there. Feeling like that's overkill though. What do you think? Yeah, I think just one bird. Maybe we'll use the label one, this one. That I cut with my punch that I've showed you guys before. I actually saw one on Amazon that's bigger than this I might I might splurge for at some point. It's just nice to have a punch. I probably have dies that are this shape, but uh, or you know, close to this shape, but this is kind of convenient too. So oh I like that. Yeah, I like that. So I think we we, we will need some lace underneath, you know how that goes. So let me see if there's another lace I'd like to incorporate into this journal. Um, I, I usually will pick a lace and I kind of stick with it just so that there's some, you know, unity within the journal. This is a really pretty lace. I think I'll use this. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit. And let's see what we want to do here. So lost. <laughs> Nothing's flowing, you know, naturally, like, you know, my thinking and, and stuff. It just feels really fragmented, which, you know, it's to be expected. I like that. Let's go ahead and just get that down so before we change our minds. I have a hole in the bottom of my Fabri-Tac, so it doesn't want to squeeze very well. I need to get a new Sugar Bell bottle for that. Okay, and then we're going to put, um, I think I'll put a little piece of the pink too, just to tie that in. Kind of get that on there. Like so. <clears throat> And then we're going to get our bird on here too. That looks kind of funny. Let's slide her over. Again, as I mentioned, not everything that we we create we love, you know. Some things just don't just don't go as planned or they don't feel, you know, like what we really wanted, but it's okay. It's okay. So I love this, and probably what I'll do with this is also do like a dangle or something on the top. So guys, thank you so much for bearing with me. Um I, uh, I will see you next time. I'm just going to let that be enough. So take care, guys. Bye-bye.